So over the course of the next five to six videos, I really want to close down all those coastal provinces in North America. That way, we don't continue to see Great Britain uh, invade our territory, and, and as well as Spain. I mean, Spain, I think, is kind of preoccupied with their own colonies right now. They have several up in South America and the West Coast of North America, but I want to completely grab everything on the East Coast as well as in the Gulf of Mexico. So I'm already doing a lot of things right now. First of all, I'm annexing the Iroquois, which will be good. I'll add a few more provinces, but that doesn't really mean much. Uh, as I said, I mean, it's annoying that Great Britain decided to colonize this, this small uh, province here, especially because what are they thinking? I mean, we're colonizing. I don't, maybe they were thinking that they wanted to connect um, a little, a new British colony somewhere around... Yeah, another British colony in North America. I'm sure that's what they're thinking, but we're going to stop them from that. Uh, the next the next two provinces that I'm going to colonize is here. That way, I mean, it sucks. It's going to slow us down, but we have to. I'm going to, I'm going to colonize these two provinces here. Uh, that's going to stop Great Britain from moving any further inside of my own North American territory. This is my territory, and then we're going to move down. And I think we're just going to move around Florida. They can have Florida. They're, they're going to get, you know, they're going to, they're going to get another colony up. And that's fine. They're going to get all five of their colonies as soon as they fin have they finished up here. Oh, they just started to these two provinces. Okay. But still, uh, we're just going to move around Florida and then boom, we're going to go to war with France right now because France is extremely weak in uh, in Europe. Extremely. They're getting destroyed. And I have a Casus Belli against them right now. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to, to, to last, but I have one Casus Belli against them. So we need to make sure that we get that going. Um, as, as for the rest of this world, pretty interesting world. Mamluks extremely powerful. The Mamluks could be a really good ally, but I just can't get an alliance up right now. Nobody likes me. I, I don't know if it's just, I don't know why. Just I have no respect. Nobody's given me any sort of respect at all. So that's kind of lame, I guess. Um, Naj is doing great. Uh, Timmy is still alive. Uzbek's doing great. As, as you can see, there is no Muscovy in this world, which is actually kind of good because Muscovy does, you know, Muscovy turns into Russia and Russia is strunk. Uh, actually, Poland is strunk. But, uh, but yeah, no, sometimes Russia can cause like a huge issue. Oh my gosh. E uh, gosh. Uh, whoa, who is this? I've never seen this nation before. They must, have, they must be a nation that like kind of ripped out of somebody. Or maybe, I don't know what how they formed, but interesting. I like the color. Hmm, maybe a future Let's Play here. Uh, Orissa looking powerful in the Indian subcontinent. And uh, that's about it. Japan's doing good, trying to make the la landing. Korea hasn't moved at all, it looks like. Anyways, I know that some people wanted me to look at the uh, the rest of the world briefly. Um, as for anyone doing the, the trade company, we've got just Portugal here. Nobody else. Who is this? Uh, is that Terry Incognita? Oh, it looks like somebody, somebody's behind there, but that's just a, that's just a nation. Uh, but yeah, besides that, nothing's really going on. Uh, okay, so let's let's jump into this. I already have my troops moving in towards this. Uh, oh, and they announced me as a new rival. Fantastic. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, all we're really competing with, you know, it's it's we're pretty lucky actually. What the hell? Uh, we're pretty lucky actually because. In most games, when you're playing as the Native Americans, I mean, you're fighting at least four to five colonial powerhouses. You've got Great Britain, Spain, Portugal, like we do, but then you have to deal with France. Sometimes you have to deal with somebody like Scandinavia, which just formed. This was Sweden that formed Scandinavia. Uh, Scandinavia could still be a problem, but for the most part, I mean, we've locked off everyone. Uh, they can have all this stuff up here, all this stuff up here. Um, and as we move our, pro uh, our, our regimens over towards the French... Possible future colony, uh, I want to talk about, like, after we close off everything, and specifically these two provinces, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to have finally nice borders, kind of. I mean, we just won't look at the south here, because New Spain has kind of screwed me over with uh, really bad borders. But after we've kind of locked off, we're going to have, I think, somewhat nice borders. We're going to go to war with these Native American tribes, hopefully take them out pretty easily, and then start to dig in further, uh, further west in the east coast of the U.S., as you can see, there's still some good three base tax provinces around this way, so I want to dig in and get some of that good shit. Um, maybe go a little bit towards Central America. I didn't want to press too far, uh, too far, because British Columbia was here, and I didn't want to like, I didn't want to, you know, border another colonial powerhouse, or I guess a, a colonial. I guess they're not a powerhouse, but it's just gonna make Great Britain even more of a reason to go to war with me. They're already dominating with uh, the Caribbeans as well as Newfoundland, um, and they're going to get up another colony in Florida. So, yeah, but I, I think I, I feel a little bit more ballsy. As, but I just want to make sure that we have good borders finally. I'm so sick of both of my EU4 campaigns having the most ugliest of borders. I want them to look good. Uh, so we have a trade dispute with Great Britain. I don't think so. I think, we'd, I think I'd 
go to war with Portugal or Spain before I go to war with Great Britain, to be honest. Um, okay, so let's move around this way. I'll combine you guys. Uh, can we assign somebody? I'm trying to kill my error, right? That's probably not the best idea. Even though I want to. My king is 48, 48 years old. It's it's kind of too late for that now. Uh, that That's just probably a lost cause there. Okay, well, let's get them across. And uh, I would like to go to war before, I think, April or something like that. I think around April should be the time. Wait a second. Move. Yes, okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, around April should be about the time. I also got another 7 stack coming from the north here. So as soon as we're ready to go, then we will be ready to go. Okay, so we've killed a bunch of natives as we move around here through this area, through this land. Let me make sure you have a general. At least, a, yeah, I mean, this is a four fire general. One maneuver, which is okay. So yeah, we should be fine. Is is France is not at war with anybody, but let's let's go right now. All right, I couldn't make an alliance with France, but that's dumb. We need to make sure that we take these provinces, kick them out of the Americas first, and then maybe we can decide if we want to do something like that later. But all right, France, say goodbye, because uh, I don't want you to be here anymore. Yep, let's slow it down just briefly. You only got 4,000 men. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that, are we on the same technological, like, tactics? Yes, we are. So tactical-wise, tactics-wise, we're about the same right now. We are the same at 19... At 19 technologies, military technologies. Okay, let's just run over there. Make sure that we crush them fast. There you go. Make sure they can't get away or something like that. Uh, I don't think France has much of any... Yeah, they don't have any navy. Wow, so I'm so glad. I mean, this is pretty much like... If we would have waited any longer... Oh, you bastards. Okay, well, we'll, we'll just kick out that colony real quick. Uh, if we would have waited any longer, that would that probably would have been really bad for us. I'm so glad that we went to war with them when we did. Um, are, where are we going to get a crossing penalty from? I imagine maybe both provinces? Yeah, no matter where it is, we're going to get a crossing penalty. I'm not going to cross into these guys' lands. Okay, oh, oh, they dropped it. Okay, good. Okay, I mean, I, all, all I had to do was kind of walk over that province, and I'm pretty sure I, I kill it, I think, but, um, yeah. All right, let's kill the rest of France ar uh, France's army. I'm pretty sure France has really low morale. They've been losing a lot of wars. Uh, they probably have some good army tradition, but I don't think that's, that doesn't mean anything if they don't have a general right here. They've got no general. Uh, yeah, look at their morale. 1.3. Holy crap, dude. Why is it? Oh, because you're bankrupt. You've got low prestige. It's just mainly because you're bankrupt. Oh. Okay, well, that explains everything. And now we're going to have to sit on top of these provinces. We should be safe, though. We should be just fine. I'm hoping. And hopefully figure out, hopefully these colonies finish up soon, too. Um, I don't want Great Britain to start colonizing something weird. I'm sure they have got three colonists up, I imagine. And I don't know if they're going to really, I don't know if they're really focusing in too much on, on expanding uh, some of their already created colonies. I don't know why. They're not expanding the British West Indies. They're not expanding, actually, they're kind of expanding British Columbia. I will say they are doing that briefly here. Okay. And uh, that's it. Now we wait. We're going to need a lot of war score, though. I think for this to happen, we're going to need a lot of war score. Um, now, before anyone asks, I know that it's it's certainly... What is this guy doing? Oh, uh, I know that I could probably load up this this fleet of, of transport ships and send them over to France right now if I really wanted to. Uh, but I'm not going to do that only because... Well, first of all, I don't think I can get uh, fleet basing rights with any of these people. I'm pretty sure... Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't think I can get fleet basing rights with anybody. Uh, Spain and Portugal, certainly not. Great Britain, not. Yeah, if Britain's not going to give it to me, then no. Uh, I'm pretty much, I would send ev everyone over there just to lose my 11 transport ships. Not a big deal, but I don't I don't want that. I, we've already got our landing inside of, uh, inside of Europe. Uh, I probably could go over there and maybe fully annex France, but that's that's going to complicate some things. That's going to we don't have this, uh, a strong enough navy to be able to do that. I understand that, yeah, our vassal is Norway. And that's nice, and technically, I don't mind. You know, if, if we end up losing Norway, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, but if we actually core something, because we don't have anything cored in Europe yet. Uh, this is just a vassal, so I don't really mind, really. Uh, and I actually don't even know what I'm going to do about this. I mean, can I fabricate a claim on Great Britain? Uh, I can, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so really, all what matters is, uh, is, is making sure that I have a claim... Oh, oh, I can't fabricate a claim on... Well, I can fabricate a claim on them. I just can't fabricate a claim on their homeland, which doesn't matter. Either way, it'd pull me into a war. I don't know. We'll see. But but it's just a completely different scenario. Taking a, 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 a European province right in the middle of Western Europe? No, thank you. 
No, thank you. Even though I can, uh, for losing all my fleet, I just don't have the navy for it yet. And I still haven't chosen my, uh, my idea group. And I think I'm probably going to... I mean, I'm waiting for it. We don't need to choose it right now. We can... I mean, technically, I could just choose it right now and... Uh, and then I can back out of it any, at any point without losing any points. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about maybe going naval ideas. But naval ideas aren't that good. And I don't want to have to waste a general as, a, as an admiral. We're not really fighting too many navy, battle, navy battles. And I don't think we will. For the rest of this campaign, if we actually do finish up this entire campaign, I don't think we're going to really be fighting too many navy battles. Not till the very, very end. We, we, we border way too many people to be focusing in on our navy. It would be nice to have a somewhat good of a navy. But I'm not trying to... Uh, focus too heavily right now on ships, especially when we don't have the economy. We, we barely have the economy to support our, our massive military, our massive land forces. So, yeah, I mean, that's just my own thing. I just I just don't feel comfortable with it. Uh, not taking something right in the middle of France, not yet. Um, yeah, no. I mean, we can kind of do that at any point, really. Uh, we can go to Great Britain and take something over there. Uh, it's just going to be way too complicated. Okay, so how much war score am I going to need for this stuff? I imagine probably a lot. One, two... Oh, I have to siege this stuff out first. Dang it, I forgot about that. Uh, it should say, though. So this is going to cost me ten. Uh, damn it, yes. Just show me the province. Four. Six, so that's twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five war score. Not bad. Not bad. I'm sure when they go to war... I, this is probably going to be one of those uh, wars where we're just going to have to sit and wait. It's just going to be one of those ticking war score, you know, games where we just got to let it tick. My ticking war score is that I'm actually not winning the ticking war score. Defend. Oh, well, yeah, that's because I haven't got the, the, the claim yet. That's fine. Oh, my gosh. What? Trade efficiency and 50 diplomatic power. What's my trade uh, efficiency right now? Is it worth 1,000 ducats? Because I don't think so. Getting... Let's see here. Oh, I'm actually not doing so good with tax. Tax in income loss, 10%. Um, trade. Trade efficiency. Right now it's at 50%. I mean, I'm not even playing the trade game. That's the whole thing. 15% extra. I'm barely playing the trade game as it is. Um, first of all, I don't... There, It's not being... Well, actually, most of it's getting pulled away. Uh, yeah, that's the issue. Well, we're going to have to, you know, get some buildings up or something like that. But I, I can't pass up a thousand ducats. Normally, I don't choose ducats, but a thousand, that's going to be a good for, that's going to be really good for a really, really long time. So I, I, I can't pass that one up. Yeah, no way. No way. Are we any foot closer to finishing this, this stuff up? No, not really. Okay. And next war, I want to go to war with these guys. You know, maybe I can just fabricate the claim now. Uh, I, maybe I shouldn't. Let's let's wait till we annex the Iroquois first, and then and then maybe I'll. I mean, I don't know. He's he's just sitting there. He is just sitting there, like ready to. Go. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's right. I don't have any neighbor. What am I thinking? This this isn't mine technically yet. I'm thinking way too, way too advanced. I'm I'm thinking way too forward right now. It's not not ready just yet. All right, let's let's go ahead and increase the speed, and. Uh, I mean, I'm just glad that we just got so lucky. France has no navy. Absolutely no navy. So that makes everything kind of perfect. So I, I, I cannot wait. I know that I, I really want to colonize these provinces. I, trust me, I hate that this is just kind of open like that. Um, but, I mean, we will. We will. I, I hope that we'll, we're going to be able to do it before anybody else grabs those provinces instead. You know, in hindsight, Captain Hindsight here is thinking, you know, I kind of wish instead of kind of expanding up here for no reason, because I didn't think I was going to be able to westernize that easy. I also didn't think I was going to be able to colonize um, this far away without having a, an already made core. That's why I started moving up this way, because I wanted to just grab this stuff. Uh, in the end, it didn't do much. It gave me a little bit of base tax early on, which was nice, but I should have colonized down south. These provinces are a lot better. And I will admit to my mistakes. I have no problem with that. I mean, some of them are one base tax, but we had a few three base tax provinces, which would have been better than uh, some of the ones and stuff like that that we grabbed a hold of. Uh, Mongolia and Uzbek. All right. So we're at 15 war score. Uh, do we have the ticking war? We do have the... It's ticking now. Um, again, I just want this stuff, and we're probably just going to have to wait because he's not going to be willing to, to do this deal for a while. Actually, no. We, uh, we're going to have to wait like a, maybe another year. Which is fine. Probably by then someone's going to declare war on him. And uh, and that's going to make it 
a little bit faster. I mean, we're not, it's it's not a big deal anyways. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm totally chilling. You can, we can sit here all day. I mean, we're just waiting for our colonists to, uh, to finish up. And I'm going to keep my army busy by destroying some of the Native American tribes around this area. Uh, but besides that, I mean, it's all good. We're going to keep my army busy. I mean, we, we are going to have to face quite a, a bit of alliance here. Um, is this, is this, hmm, Shanine, Shanae? Shit, I don't know, but we've got a couple of little small Native American tribes. It shouldn't be too big of an issue. These guys are going to be a little bit more difficult because they're they're allied to some bigger ones. That's what she said. But yeah, I mean, so we'll see. Maybe uh, maybe the Shawnee Fox. Oh, nice. Okay, there goes there goes the Iroquois, and we also picked up eight more regiments. So where's our force of that? Oh, much better. I'm losing ducats. <laughs> I'm losing eight. Oh, no, three. Okay, it's gone down to three ducats per month. Uh, I don't want to lose all the thousand ducats that I just got. I'd like to kind of keep up some sort of... I don't know. I mean, worst case scenario, if we get declared war on by the Europeans, I can just, you know, get a massive army of, of mercs or, or whatever it is. Maybe go over way over my force limit, and I'd have enough backed up so I wouldn't have to go too far into my loans. That's kind of, the, that's kind of one of the reasons why I took the, uh, the thousand ducat deal there. Uh, 50, I would have liked the 50 diplomatic power, but it's not worth it. Really, not diplomatic at least. No way. Yeah, no, 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 no. No way. So is anyone else going to declare war on France? I know, they're, I know they're dealing with a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of rebel issues. Timbuktu seems to be doing pretty well inside of, uh, inside of Africa. West Africa seems to be good, doing good. Ethiopia is really strong. They're all divided up though. Pretty cool. Yeah, Ethiopia is doing quite well for themselves. Oh, I didn't even see Spain down here. So a lot of people are going for their uh, East Indian trade companies, but right now it's just Portugal that's kind of started it up. I mean, they, they've started. They still have a little bit longer to go. Whoa! The Timurids just annexed that, that nation we were talking about. Huh. All right. Hmm. Very interesting. Who is Novgorod allied to? Great Britain and Poland. And I'm sure Lithuania allied to Poland and Li oh, Spain. Come on. Can give me a break. Spain is allied to so many powers. So many powers. Let me, let me see this thing here. Not that bad, actually. In the worst case scenario, Spain's going to ally Great Britain. That's going to be... I'm going to lose my shit. If that happens, I'm going to lose my shit. They're rivaled, right? They better be rivaled. They're not rivaled. What? They are not rivaled. That's ridiculous. Um, do the Mamluks have a... Do they have Tunis under their control? No, they're not vast. Oh... Well, the Ottomans are dead. Okay, well, Mamluks, go after Tunis, take out Tunis, take out Morocco, get more power. I think, I think maybe, now that Great Britain has kind of, you know, destroyed our alliance, maybe the Mamluks would be good. Although, yeah, the Mamluks have a pretty good navy. That's kind of why I would, would, want, would want to ally them, and they hate the Europeans, just like I do. I hate the Europeans as well. Um, but most of their navy is inside the Mediterranean, and that's not where we need them. Although... It doesn't matter. I mean, we saw Venetian fleets and Venetian troops move out towards the Atlantic Ocean and, and help out their allies when we were fighting Spain or, or Naples or whatever that was. Uh, let's lose the diplomatic power. I don't want to lose power inside of any of my trade nodes. Okay, we good yet? I'm sure we are. Uh, can I get any more than that, though? Yeah, I'd like some ducats. That'd be nice. Um, can't make you a vassal. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want, to, want to anyways. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to sit in this war and, and build up war exhaustion and stuff like that. Let's just grab this right now, and uh, we'll take our four provinces and and we'll be good. We'll be happy to we'll be happy to get out of here. Okay, so administrative technology eighteen, very good. Um, we can build some more stuff now. Let's go and core these lands. How bad is it? Oh, I just uh, that's right. I, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I should not have taken that administrative technology. Well, we're gonna have to sit with some overextension for a little. Oh, we're fine. National unrest is at negative. 3.06, and we only gained 0.17 war exhaustion. I think that was a good deal. Yeah, good deal. Um, although, if my king dies, my legitimacy... I'm wondering if my legitimacy is going to go up. Actually, no. Look, my heirs has a strong claim to the throne. That kind of sucks, because he sucks, but my, legit my legitimacy should pop back up uh, when he takes the throne. So that will be good. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to sit with the over... Actually, why isn't it counting the overextension? Oh, it's not it's not causing overextension. Yes, that's right. I keep forgetting about that. That's so awesome. That's cool. Yeah, so we're fine. I was wondering, like, wait, how is it still at negative 3.7 or 3.07? 
All right, so a bunch of these uprising things happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, looks like I'm going to have to stop right there. But before I stop it, let me just make sure I fabricate a claim on these guys because we need to go to war. And we need to take a few more coastal provinces, maybe take out some Native Americans, start looking a little bit stronger. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.